Hey, Miss Squad, it's your girl Steph, and I am back with our first ever 2022 Goodwill Thrift Haul. Y'all, y'all already know there is more to come of this for the entire year. So, before I get into this haul, first off, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? If you ain't subscribed, ask yourself why, okay? Ask yourself that. And then, second, you already know you're gonna like it, okay? Because you already clicked on the button to hit play to see what your girl got. So, go on and hit that like button. Don't be afraid, don't be scared. She don't bite. I told y'all she's my friend. And she just said she just wants y'all to show us some love too. So, let's get into this thrift haul. Here lately, y'all, the Goodwill been kind of tripping, okay? Tripping on like some. They must be the new uh, designer brand that we don't know about, okay? However, we out here trying to save our coins and we trying to be sustainable, but we still trying to be fly, all while being frugal and on a budget, okay? So, I'm getting ready to show y'all some of the things that I've got at my local Goodwill. And if y'all watch my vlogs, y'all know I already gave skinny on uh, the last vlog last week in reference to who do Goodwill think they are? Who do they think they are? Are you Nordstrom's? Are you off the rack? Are you, at this point, are you Macy's? You know, big box stores, okay? Child, they've been like really, really tripping. So, I'm gonna trip on y'all because I can have a whole conversation if y'all are like a video about how I feel about some of these thrift stores and the, and the inflection of prices y'all let me know because what happens when they inflate prices that mean me your girl Steph as a reseller I gotta fall in suit so blame it on them okay okay let's get started first up y'all this is my third Balenciaga knockoff bag that I have found all three at the Goodwill one in Georgia and two no one in georgia one online and one here so this one is like this it's like a it's like a toffee caramel like color and it like it's just beautiful okay it's a large bag this can be used as a work bag it does come with a large um, shoulder strap okay so it has Tons and tons of compartments. I mean, this can even be a cute, like, overnight bag. You know, you're going to stay over your boo house for the weekend. Y'all know uh, Halloween. Uh, did I just say Halloween? You don't know Valentine's Day coming up. Stay at your boo house. Come with a cute little bag. Don't look like you was, like, uh, intentionally planning on staying. But you know you was going to stay, okay? Perfect bag. So, if you guys are uh, privy to being a Mr. Squad member. You also know that I do live sales on Thursday nights at 8 p.m. right here on the tube. Don't miss out, bring your wine, have your cash up in your Venmo ready, and, and let's do what it do, okay? Because your girl gonna score you away. You like how I dress? You gonna be fly too, okay? Let's go. So, these next items that I thrifted, I know y'all gonna be like self socks, yeah. You can thrift anything, okay? Anything, as long as you have an imagination. So, I thrifted these knee-high socks, and I just loved all the prints, okay? Um, the stripes, the um, Prosper, okay? I love, and this is, y'all, this is exactly how they were sold. They were actually sold in a bundle just like this so y'all know i am not afraid of color i'm actually a, a big fan of it okay and so um why not edge up my boot game my booties whatever okay loafers whatever i'm feeling and get me some printed socks so i purposely did not unbag this thrift haul for the simple fact that i wanted y'all to see that i do thrift household items and household items mean I'm like home decor. I buy lemons. I buy limes at the grocery store. However, if I don't get to them fast enough, like in my 
my water or my sparkling water child you already know the rest okay so in the meantime when the bowl is empty and the bowl needs to be re replenished child please i'd like me some faux lemons with limes okay and I'm, I'm not i just i'm gonna put this in the bowl and i am going to um it's gonna serve its purpose it's looking full so then when i do purchase the real thing that I can consume. Um, yeah, so just go on top. But I always look like I got a full bowl. Okay. Next up, I thrifted this beautiful glass jar. Okay. Now I utilize things like this for earrings, brooches, pins, things of that nature. You can use these type of um, jars for anything. And I'll give you guys an example. This was $3.99, and once I fill it with all its goodies, guess what? Y'all gonna see. You can take a $2, $3, $4 jar and turn it into something beautiful at home to store your goodies. Such as, I have this, like, a pop, a pop, apple crossy, a pack of three. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? I have this type of jar. And this is filled with all brooches. And I have more brooches in my actual living closet. And I wanted another jar so that I could put like colorful ones in another jar and keep all my gold tones in here. So these are a good idea for you to purchase. And well, I, don't, I washed this one. This one went through the dishwasher the whole nine. But I probably paid like $4 for this. And it's a cute little decor in my room. Next up, y'all, I just have a funny feeling we are about to go back down into lockdown, okay? And with that, I'm the type of parent that my daughters literally love being in my closet. So it's like nothing is sacred if they heal, okay? So joggers and matching two pieces is my thing. So when I want to feel like, you know, I want to be cloudy and, you know, bright, this is a nice little jogger set that I got from the Goodwill and it's thick, it feels like sweatshirt material, um, it's lined as well and it's perfect for me. Y'all already know your girl loves, loves, loves to be cute around the house, okay? Um, it's, a, it's a sport, it really is. So I often buy matching sets and I am somebody who does purchase uh loungewear loungewear you all know if you've been with me for a while loungewear can be gone outside too choppy you gotta go run a quick errand so here is the short version to this and i got it in this tie-dye print and it also has um it's like a button-up henley and it's a sweatshirt and this is by Misguided. I think both of these sets are by Misguided. I actually bought another one. Um, I just happened to buy it on different days. I bought a black and white one too. And child, somebody's cleaning out their closet. So, preferably when I go thrifting, I'm really not in the, the market of like purchasing a lot of things that I can like go online and buy myself, such as things from like Shein, Misguided, pretty little things stuff like that okay however when I go thrifting I'm going for the good good okay I'm going for the unique the eclectic the vintage or vintage inspired and that's how my mind think y'all so up next is this beautiful dainty when I say dainty y'all I want y'all to see this look at this look, look at the details on the sleeves okay it's an off white cream like a day dress and it's sheer it has the button up back so clearly somebody is gonna have to be here with me when I wear this okay the button up back look at the details in the front it's lace it also has an elastic waist and the skirt is like a full-on a-line skirt so Clearly, I'm gonna have to wear something pretty, something a little lacy under here, just so it can, you know, 
and cord it go. But how do you grunge this up real quick? By adding some combat boots, your Doc Martens. Oh my God, if you want to sophisticate it up a little bit, um, go ahead and put on your favorite knee highs. Also add a belt and guess what? You have a whole vibe. You can even throw on a leather blazer like I'm wearing, which was ripped So this is going to debut even during this winter because y'all, I know how to lay you. And probably I prefer to lay you, okay? Because I'm a chick that get real hot real quick, okay? And when I get hot like that, child, it's time to start peeling stuff off. So, I can wear this. I can put on some really um, fur-lined leggings up under this with maybe keep the cami or the camisole and slip, whatever I'm going to wear under this. Keep it still like lacy, but it'll be the fur lined like uh, leggings or tights that will keep me warm, plus clearly a coat, okay? Because clearly your girl is not. I see y'all, and I'm pretty sure y'all see me, okay? But this is what I go through for. And this was, I ain't gonna tell you. So, slip dresses. I've been telling y'all since I've been selling on YouTube and IG, I've been telling y'all slip dresses. It's the way to go. You can do so much with these, okay? And when I say so much, I mean so much. What I plan on doing is I plan on laundering all of this. And I'm going to come back in the same week. And I am going to put these things together and show you guys how I will style these. However, I am all for the full length ma um, maxi slip dress and this is one and I want y'all to see the print it's a magenta with white polka dots and y'all I did not just buy it in one color I bought it in another and like these are basics these are basics that you should always have on deck because this is an all year round dress all you have to do like I said fur line tights leggings underneath you can wear a turtleneck, you can wear a crew neck, you can wear a boat neck t-shirt. <sighs> y'all know y'all could be real Y2K if you want to, but another another video, see? You already know your girl ADHD, and I'm about to jump on of what, what style trends I'm going to be on for 2022. I could share it. Y'all want a video on that? Leave it in the comments and boo, I got you. Okay, next up. Now, this is a vintage dress as well. You know, probably yesterday was like really big back in the day. Okay, it just was, okay? I'm assuming because it was cheap. Um, it's, it's not so much like spandex. This is a dress in my favorite color. It has a sash. What I'm loving about this is the ruffles on the end. This is so cute. It does have a zipper back. Okay, and like I said, this week, this is going to go on the launder, and I'm going to show you guys how I style all these things, so you get the haul, and then you get the try-on lookbook from the same haul. You feel me? Stay with me, okay? But this is really pretty, and I plan on mixing this with another color, preferably something like orange, maybe, um lime green um yellow would be really pretty with this plant on mixing because it's boot season now honey okay so also that dress the victorian style one that one also came with a sash now i'm a firm believer and you can never have too many pencil skirts okay preferably ones that do this stretch okay Preferably the ones that don't have zippers in the back, okay? So this is one of them. It is this one is a checkered. This is not a house too, but it is um has a elastic in the waist, it has split in the back, and this is what you can do with pencil skirts. If you're not at the office or you're not working for corporate America, you can wear your pencil skirts with like oversized sweatshirts hoodies, 
Um, if you were to put a tee on with this, I would say definitely knotting it or belting it. Um, pencil skirts, you can um, also wear like athletic type jackets with this as well. You can't go wrong with a pencil skirt. Nowadays, we wear sneakers with them, loafers, um, your booties, boots, anything. I preferably, when I wear a pencil skirt, I'm a booty, sneaker, loafer, or I'm not really big on flats. I'm not. I'm already short. I'm already close to the ground. I don't need to be closer, okay? I just don't. However, I am a Doc Martin wearing girl, okay? And this is something that um, I needed. All right, so um, I can appreciate people who put who put a little extra love in something because it fit everywhere else, but it don't fit in their waist. So what I'm gonna show y'all is right here. So somebody bought these. They split the seam. And this is a great idea, matter of fact. They split the seam and they added a little elastic, so they had a little give. Okay. Um, this is by New York and Company. These are like a flat tab type pant, and they're woven. They're a straight leg, a skinny. Well, actually, a skinny leg. They have belt loops, and I am real big on dress pants that have belt loops. Um, because if I want to wear a belt, I have an option to wear a belt. If you don't have an um, belt loops, y'all know, you know, you go to bend over, you gotta be holding your pants. Um, you gotta be making sure your shirt long enough so you know you're not gonna be showing everybody what color your panties is that day. You know what I'm saying? So be sure to. If you are someone who likes to wear a belt or have an option of wearing a belt, be sure to purchase items that have belt loops, okay? You will thank me for it later. So, I'm gonna tell y'all, I already envisioned an outfit with the yellow pants when I saw this top. So, this is a beautiful olive green. It's a floral print. It is silk, okay? This is... I don't know who stunt is, but honey, stunt don't have me stunting, okay? It has shoulder pads in it, and this is already a look right here. And I bought it oversized. I'm not somebody that my blouses do not have to be, like, tailored to me unless I want it to be tailored to me. However, I'm a big fan on belts okay and utilizing belts to give you that nice cinched in waist this is the difference this time of the year dressing versus during summertime summertime everybody naked okay all you see is skin all right however during the fall winter even spring people tend to wear a lot more clothing and to me that's when you can tell someone's true style is during those three seasons right there because come sun, um, summer they just get naked pretty much speaking of summer I told y'all I don't wait until the season that's coming in to shop I don't I am the girl that I'm, I'm ahead of the seasons and because I thrift sustainably and then I've been sharing my closet with you all um, things gotta get replaced and I am, to me, I feel like I am sharing with the world and I'm not just being a fashion hoarder. Because I have a tendency, I am the president of the club. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I go by Eclectic Nista. And guess what? I am a reformed fashion hoarder. I share fashion, I share tricks and tips. I share my closet, okay? So, those days of me courting fashion that you guys ask me about all the time and I'm just I just never was willing to share those days are over so welcome to Eclectic Mista honey I am the president of the club and I am here to share my closet so that you can share your closet and your closet can get shamed yeah, we can just keep it going no, no, don't get me started okay so this is beautiful woven bag. It's in mint green. It's in like a, um, 
don't know what color this is but definitely spring vibes it has the big fringed um thing hanging off of it this is who is this by a and 15 american american and beyond a and b american and beyond it's lined on the inside and this is just a cute addition to my spring look okay all right every single time i find one of these patchwork leather multicolored bags i purchase okay this one has all the colors in the rainbow okay it has a long strap it is like a hobo style bag it is in great condition because I, I i'm always looking for stuff like that uh if it has a little wear and tear i'm not so big on it for the simple fact it's it's being sustainable okay so we are protecting the earth the environment all right however also a little distressing don't bother me the thing about purchasing pre-loved and secondhand fashion is you must understand that it has already been worn before it was owned by somebody else okay and when it comes to vintage particularly okay you have to understand that it has stood the test of time it has been around for decades and it has been passed on and passed on it's done travel all of the, over the world look at look at it as the sister pants Traveling system pants. Sister pants. No, the traveling sister pants. Y'all know what movie I'm talking about, child. Where the pants just they went from person to person to person, okay? So to me, if it has some distressing in it, that really doesn't bother me. It doesn't. To me, I think it just shows, it gives a little bit more authenticity to it and also likes everything just freaking brand new only thing i really care about being brand new literally is my panties <laughs> my panties okay my toothbrush okay my brush that i brush my hair with and it's a list but them are the first three things that i have to think about the top of my head okay anywho i love these bags and Every time I found one, I have sold it because I'm not a hoarder. So, in the spirit of finding patchwork bags, like I said, this is a really, really, really nice one, okay? Um, I think I'm going to keep this one for myself because it is in a brown chocolate color and it has the majority of the colors in it however i just love 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 the way this one is it's like your vintage speedy okay so when i have bags y'all clean them out and i stuff them because I, I i want it to have its true shape so all my bags that's on display in my diva den here every bag is stuffed because I want it to keep its shape. And this one is genuine leather. Somebody will have to be throwing me an offer that is just, okay, you can have it, y'all, because I'll find another, because I really, really love this bag, okay? So I got this also. And because I am a reseller, when I see cute stuff, I pick it up, okay? We are getting ready to come upon, um, prom season here shortly and don't be that girl that wait till the last minute to start putting your look together okay so this one has these beads hanging off the chain it has the huge knockers and this one opens up Hold up it's all satin inside it fits my phone in there and uh, yeah this, this 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 is your girl and to be honest sometimes when you're wearing things that are like super super sporty you add in little details like this can like just quickly feminize or make a look look a little bit more dainty a little bit more girly 
You hold your bang. Y'all get it, okay? Okay, MK. For my MK lovers, this is a Michael Kors bag. This one is a very odd shape. This is what I'm drawn to. I'm drawn to odd different shapes when it comes to bags just because I'm not a girl that just like to look like everybody else, okay? I, I just don't, okay? So this one, it has the handle so you can hold it like that or it does have an adjustable strap where it could be wrong as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. It is leather, okay? It does have the gold feet on the bottom. It also does have this bling detail here. Open it up. Booyah, it has compartments. And it has a zipper compartment, you know, where that's where you put your credit cards and your money so you don't get got, okay? Because y'all know, child. They be talking about it's that season. It's that season all the time. That's how we need to be thinking about it, okay? It's that season all the time. So, this is also for sale as well. Last but not least, the bag is finally empty, okay? I have two more pieces that I wanna show y'all and then that's gonna be it. However, y'all know I am mom, a wife, and I'm a chick that likes to cook. Wanna know why? Because I like good food. However, I am not opposed from buying me a uh, a spoon rest from the Goodwill okay it's black it goes with my kitchen and I have one but I don't see nothing wrong with having two okay cuz I don't like double dipping spoons and I don't like cross contamination and stuff like that so why not just have an extra spoon rest so now y'all know Goodwill Betsy right I told y'all about Goodwill, Goodwill, Goodwill Betsy child goodwill betsy <sighs> brand of this coat is jordash okay this fur coat right here baby mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all that if anybody is interested in purchasing this if you're not following me on IG, you about to miss out. Because as of tonight, I am going to start doing story sales on my IG. And they will be in the highlights as well. But you guys can go through, glance, and look at things that um, are unique and different. Such as handbags, accessories, coats, particular dresses. Sometimes you may see the whole outfit and the whole outfit will be for sale. Minus my shoes, okay? Because funny about my shoes but y'all check out this coat i'm telling you i am for having on a whole jogger okay and busting out with a fur coat my boots my handbag and let go okay i'm gonna show you get home back okay hello and hello some mo okay Alive. I fell in love with this coat. However, y'all, I am cleaning out my coat closet. Okay, I am cleaning it out. And my husband said that um, I got too many coats. So because I got too many coats, some of them got to go. I couldn't leave this up in the goodwill. I had to bring this to y'all, honey. I had to bring this. I would just be selfish if I didn't, y'all. It has the orange rust lining, okay? Um, no pockets. It does have a little stain right here. However, you know, take it to the cleaners or you could just um, get uh, cleaner yourself and you can clean it inside of coats with liners and stuff like that. The pockets, there are no holes. Everything is in tack and it is to the flow, y'all. To the flow, to the flow, y'all, to the flow. This is fabulous. I could not leave this. I had to bring this to share with y'all. Had to. And last, but definitely not least, is this fur coat that I purchased as well. Now, I told you, you could look bummy as I don't know what, okay? Bummy. You, you, you could not even have tried, all right? I'm gonna just say that. 
You ain't got to try. But I'm going to tell you this. If your hair is done, you ain't even got to have a full beat, y'all. You don't. You don't. I'm here to testify. You don't. Have your shades on. Hair done. Gloss, Carmax, chapstick, Vaseline, you name it, okay? Child with your coat on, your cat suit on, your Doc Martens, because you gotta go run somewhere right quick. Put your coat on, tie it, get your bag, and let go, okay? Y'all. My coat game is so strong. I can't even drop all the coats over on IG in one day. I can't. I'm cleaning out my coat closet. Say it with me. I'm cleaning out my coat closet. This is my time of the year where I do purge. I do purge more often than not because I had a whole situation back in 2018. No, 2019. I had a whole situation, child, where I, that's why I had to join Hoarders Anonymous because I just had too much. I had too much, and it was with all intent to resell. However, come, I was doing too much. I was working a full-time job. I was being a mama, a wife at that time, a military wife, so you already know what comes with that. The support, I got a, uh, uh, one, a grown daughter. I got one that want to be grown at that time. It just was a lot, okay? And we was transitioning out of the military and stuff, and this was the purge of my life, okay? So, in the spirit of always having that in the back of my mind, I purge, I purge. So it's the beginning of the year. The one closet that has not been touched since we moved in our house is our coat closet. But it is stuffed. Do you hear me? It is stuffed. So I promised the brother I was I was gonna purge. Okay. So if you like this coat, be sure to hit me up in my DMs on Instagram, or you can hit me up on shop at gmail.com and just give me the description, screenshot, whatever you need to do, honey, to make sure I get you the right item, all right? And uh, yeah, okay? That's the end of our first 2022 Goodwill haul, okay? So I hope you guys like some of the things I bought. Um, I'm just somebody that I literally can just go in the thrift store. <laughs> you can give me 20 minutes, honey. In 20 minutes, I can have a cart full of stuff. And it's just because I have an eye. I have an eye. <sighs> Let me tell y'all a secret. Come in a little closer. Some of y'all already know this because I see you every Thursday, okay? I did. I've been seeing you every Thursday or Friday for the past three months, all right? Y'all already know my team. I have faculty, honey. And when I go into live sale mode, I turn into the professor, okay? Because I am all about educating educating teaching motivating inspiring keeping it positive keeping it classy and definitely keeping it grown okay so if you are privy to that y'all already know how i do y'all already know so with that being said y'all know i'm gonna bring y'all the good good because what my daughter say, she said every time I go thrifting and I found a whole bunch of stuff that I fell in love with. She was like, oh, you gonna keep stuff that you fell in love with and you can just gonna give us the scraps. I ain't giving y'all the scraps, y'all. I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't love it. And that's the thing, y'all. I think I love too much. <laughs> so with that being said, tell me what are some ideas of different hauls you guys would like to see. Um, it's, the, it's, it's the first haul of the new year and I'm just excited. Um, 
I'm settled, y'all. I'm settled. And um, I'm just in a really, really good place. I actually have help with my brand now. My brand is growing. If you love me, <laughs> invite your girlfriends to come uh, love on me too, honey. Don't keep it a secret. Don't be selfish. Don't be that friend, okay? Don't be that friend like, girl, I know this girl. <laughs> she will get you together, okay? She shares her life. She shares her fashion. She shares her world. And I also share my damn opinion, okay? I do. Y'all got a new series coming up um, talking about um, what that pissed me off this week. I have a new series that I'm going to be bringing to my channel. I don't know how often y'all going to get it. But however, I'm just going to give you a tidbit to hit the notification bell. If you hit the notification bell before, turn the notification bell off and then turn it back on and then hit all, okay? So that you can get everything because... Y'all know they be tripping over here too sometimes, okay? They be unsubscribing y'all and all of that. But I do not want y'all to miss out on this new series. And my new series is going to be what done pissed me off this week. Yeah. I can tell you right now, y'all, it's like three things that done pissed me off this week. And I said I'm going to have to sit my ass down and I'm going to have to film this because it might piss you off. And that creates dialogue and conversation, okay? And we just be grown people over here, grown women, over here talking about shit that done pissed us off, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. And like I said, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button. She like love too, okay? You heard that before? She like love too. And... Also, be sure to turn your notifications on. Um, I am Steph, a.k.a. Eclegnista, also known as The Professor. So, I look forward to seeing you, maybe tomorrow.